Welcome to Reputation Revolution. This is the podcast where we help individuals like you to establish your voice in the marketplace, enhance the credibility of that voice, extend the reach of your story and your message, and finally, extract value from your efforts in building a meaningful personal brand that's both recognized and respected. Now, on with the show. Hey, good day. We're live here on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. My name is Trevor Young. For those who don't know me, uh, aka the PR Warrior, and with me is Brendan Keogh. He's a podcast podcast. That's a really great start. A podcast producer. He is a content strategist and coach like myself, and he also produces audio books and goes Wonderful to be here. Well, a little bit. There's a few strings so to the bow. You need talk to about niching. Stuff. Nine and niching. You need, and this will, this is actually a nice mm. little segue mm. actually for today, but mm. you're going to have to start <laughs> uh, honing in on your messaging, my friend. Mm. But because mm. uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the intro is, is getting quite long. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So uh, welcome to the show. This is Reputation Revolution. Uh, it's a fortnightly, uh, we're doing it live stream, but it becomes, a podcast as well so you can either watch us if you're so inclined or you can listen to us on the podcast um of the reputation revolution show and what we do is we recap uh the previous episode so the episode that's up at the moment on the uh on the podcast is is one that it's actually an encore edition brendan well and it seems to embody really what reputation revolution is all about touches on a lot of the themes that we speak about regularly so i think it's really appropriate nice short sharp one too for the listeners to um quickly dive into so yeah pl but still plenty of meat for us to chat about which is so let handy. me let me set the scene so uh the the, the episode we're recapping and we go deeper and, and you know pull a thread through it and expand on the on on some of the key takeaways so you know some actionable tips hopefully we can come out of it although this one's a bit more there's a lot more nuance to this conversation but um it was <laughs> Now let me explain this. It was a part B of a. It was a two part. It was the second part of a two part conversation I had uh, with Mark Schaefer. Now Mark Schaefer, uh, check him out on businessesgrow.com. He's he's an accomplished blogger, uh, one of the top marketing bloggers in the world. He is a best selling author. He's got a number of books. Um, marketing Rebellion, known are two of the the better ones. Content Code is a good one. Uh, he originally started writing about influencer marketing in the early days and Twitter and stuff like that. So he has evolved and that's going to be the theme for today about evolving your personal brand over a good period of time. So we're talking about sustainability of your personal brand. And uh, so in the part one of that interview, which we're not going to really touch on, I talked about his book, The Cumula uh, Cumulative Advantage. Uh, but then part B, I really wanted to, it was just such a long conversation and I really wanted to get into uh, I'm very keen to unpack how he has evolved his brand over time. Um, so, Brendan, do you want to give us a bit of a uh, heads up of what you thought about the interview? And um, and and you know, you've you've read Mark's stuff and you've maybe listened to his podcast and stuff. What, what, what do you what do you think of the guy? <laughs> Hopefully, good. <laughs> no, absolutely wonderful, and uh, it was a great chat. Um, so uh, very much enjoyed it. As I say, it was for the listeners, it was short and sharp, so it's something easily digestible and well worth it. Still packs, packs plenty in there. Look, uh, you know, there was a lot that uh, I took on, as we just joked about with uh, my the lack of niche. Um, I'm uh, of a similar, I feel like a, a, a bit of a kindred spirit with him. I won't claim too, we're too uh, close, but um, uh, I feel like I'm always learning, growing, and that's been a fear of sticking to one topic area specialty speciality um but mark uh, as he talks about has um he evolves he, he that's a, a key part of his approach he understands he evolves he get bored talking about social media that he started talking about yeah. so uh, there is a natural evolution we're gonna we're gonna grow as people we're gonna evolve as people and that should be reflected in our content um and i i loved his uh description of riverbanks um so he's got he's got his areas that he he um, uh, his walls if you like that he stays within, but with but across that and across a few of them, um, he's able to um, cover a lot of interesting areas. And he, I think he made the reference that he he, he finds it most enjoyable at the intersection of 
some of these areas. So um, where there's a crossover where he can bring in other aspects that he enjoys in life, um, takes lessons of the basketball um, example that he turned into a marketing learning. Yeah. Um, you know, kids basketball game. What and what he he's able to spin that into um, something to take away and, and talk about in his content. Um, so in that way, you're showing uh, a little bit about yourself, your loves, and uh, your your true personality, uh, but also just a different way of perhaps uh, bringing in a concept that um, we may well know about, but just another way yeah. of thinking about it. Yeah. And so the the three, I guess, pillars um, that you're referring to really is, uh, he, and he's had it on, as he said, uh, when I posed this question to him uh, about, you know, focusing on one thing because he's been on all of the, this journey and he has evolved, um, you know, across leadership, marketing, social media, personal branding and other things uh, that he... We, he said, he said, I've had the same three words on my website for pretty much from the get go. And it was, what is it? Marketing, I'm testing myself there, marketing, strategy, and humanity. Mm. And, and so he likes exploring ideas and talking about topics that, that intersect with those very broad categories, you must say. But I'm, it's kind of, it's a bit of a feel for me that I, I've, you know, for many, many years, I've had this thing called, I work with clients, the spheres of conversation, which is, ways of getting into a big conversation and they're often what are the broad topics you want to be part of and then you start cascading the conversation down to your areas of speciality and um it's it's kind of similar to that i think and i i think it's it's a level of filter and you put your riverbanks around it but they're broad enough and meaty enough that um you know they're not they're certainly not niche areas as well and i like it that it's strategy you can talk about marketing you can talk about but humanity is probably more of a um, a bit of a more of an esoteric to, uh, um, topic to be to be running through those other two. Uh, yeah, that gives you a lot of scope to work with, him, doesn't it? So, which is great, and because anything can you can apply that to anything. So, so that's important to have a as high level kind of approach uh, start to start with, and as you precisely said, drill down from there. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, he still talks about consistency. You know, in terms of consistency yeah. of message within those parameters. So he can't go and talk about Russian history because he'd lose his audience. So he, he you know, still within. I'd be gone. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I'm out. Russian uh, history, I'm gone. <laughs> some of it's pretty interesting. But, um, you know, uh, if uh, if you, yeah, if you don't want to stray too far. So, you know, it's, it's there's no kind of black or white answer with any of this stuff, is there? So, you know, it's not yeah. a one answer is correct. Of course not. But it's we, we, we have our um, approaches that we work towards. And one is that, while we want to have our specialties and now what we're really known for um, to be able to speak on a number of topics and really importantly because the key the thing i want to talk about is personality is to be able to bring in other aspects of your life that are that are outside this rigid button down um uh career you know work life that we have so i think that's an important part and there's so lots about personality that came through from that chat yeah. And I think today, you know, if you're going to build, we're, we're about professional personal branding and building a, you know, a thought leadership positioning and and kind of almost, you know, building a, the, the business off the back of your brand. Certainly in early days, if you're going to grow a business, you're probably still going to be the front person. We do business with people, not logos. Uh, and, and, and so content and being on social and all of those touch points, whether it's speaking or whatever, you've got to be out there and then... What are you going to be talking about? And that's that's why this is so critical because if you don't get it right, if you don't have comfort in in your lanes, whether they're big lanes or, or quite niche, um, you're going to you know you're going to get flustered and you're not going to go deep enough and you're not going to. Uh, I, I like the idea of people. I I give people that I deal with clients and stuff often if they're that way inclined permission to explore outside you know to go a bit push boundaries and stuff like that if you want to be known i'll, I'll just have a thing though here as as uh, you know we've we've talked about thought leader versus expert before and that'll that kind of theme runs through pretty much everything we talk about now on on the on the show but you know when we're looking at if you want to be seen as a deep domain expert in something then that's when it is a niche and it's domain expertise best practice you know, you're teaching people and you're the go-to informational resource for that. Now, a lot of thought leaders are experts as well, but someone who just, uh, I think, as as um, Mark said, I don't, I'm not the Facebook 
advertising guy, you know, and I don't want to be known as the Facebook advertising guy. Uh, but if you do want to be known as the Facebook advertising person, um, then that's what you focus on and that's what you become known for and you shut out lots of other things. But if it's just one part of a remit, you might talk about it once a year in context with a broader picture of the future of Facebook. And then you might be talking about the future of Facebook um, as a broader thing of the future of marketing and communication. So, you know, that's that's how messaging can evolve. Yeah, and it does, that that expert and um, thought leader discussion, you know, again, we, there's no right or wrong or definitive, but broadly, if, if you've got that yearning to, to, to go higher, to, 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 to uh, expand the scope of what you're talking about, you know, that's really um, on that thought leadership territory, isn't it? You know, an expert is um, more likely to be able to, to be comfortable in that space, uh, evolving and growing still, hopefully. Um, but uh, yeah, when, when you, when you're looking to shift areas that you're, you know, from social media, you know, to another whole group, uh, that's hard to be an expert and shift like that. Um, yeah. So you know, so if you've, if you've got a really wandering intellect, let's say that's oh, I like that. That's <laughs> that's the t-shirt we always need one of these episodes. We need uh, the don't, don't go too don't go too early, mate. There's a few oh, more no, where that it's, comes. It's from. early wandering intellect. I like that. But I I want to here's one for the t-shirt, um, which was from you in um, in in the um, in the interview. Um, yeah, your personality is your differentiation. Yeah, uh, powerful. It's like well, yeah, of course. I mean that's. Um, and uh, you guys talked about it. Everyone's got the, you know, the perfect profile. Looks like this and professional and this rah rah. Do all these <laughs> things, all the things that are base level and expected. What's the, yeah? So what? Why am I going to choose you over someone else? And, you know, um, the person bringing in your personality gives you that chance to showcase what you like to work with, which is really going to be ultimately the difference between someone going, yep, I'm committing, let's do this, because I know what you're like, I've got a good sense, we will work together, you get me as the client. Mm. Um, so that's where it's really powerful. And it's just more fun, you know, yeah. and um, it, it it loosens you up um, to to um, be less rigid and, and uh, concerned about what should I, you know, it's more natural, um, dare we say authentic, but yeah, it's just more natural, <laughs> real. Um, and um, plus, you get more content. You've got a greater scope of, of things to talk about. By don't get bored. You don't get bored. You're bringing in these other areas. Um, but, uh, you know, and you're letting another, your intellect wander. There you go. There you go. Um, so, you know, and it, again, just circling back to um, the niche and my, I, I got a real sort of insight into um, I'd been, you know, fearful of um, being trapped in a, in one sphere or known as one thing and yeah it was just a real reminder you do not need that at all you can um you can evolve but not only within a subject matter but moving beyond it and related um there is consistency but you can move and evolve so someone at, at a high profile like mark who's comfortable to, to evolve every three years he sort of talked about um mm -hmm. he's on a new whole new way of thinking um, is, is, is that gives the rest of us great comfort that we can do that, evolve, not lose our what is bring them with us on a journey. So that's that was really exciting and, and gave me um, the heart about about um, you know, the possibilities for for um, you know for your content. Yeah. And, and the other thing with with Mark is and he's you know he's come from a corporate, button down corporate area and 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 he had to learn to loosen up a bit and we can we'll we'll jump into that in a tick i think because that's important because that goes back to that um your your point of differentiation can often be your personality or your motive differentiation motive uniqueness i think i called it mm. um and <laughs> mode of uniqueness that will uniqueness might fit on a t-shirt <laughs> um and even though that's mine I, i'm liking one uh, wandering intellect right. uh, <laughs> you're throwing me off course here mate. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so uh but he's a consultant uh he, so he works one-on-one -on -one with big companies he you know he coaches he's got he's written an article he's got actually 20 sources of income uh based off his personal brand based enterprise so and that's something we've got to keep coming back to the personal brand people want him um he he raises himself up against the pack. Uh, he doesn't play the SEO game. In fact, he mm. said that, you know, if you're going to play, 
he's in digital marketing, but he's never going to win the SEO game. The people who win the SEO game are the junkyard dogs who'll throw absolutely everything at it. And and I agree with him on that 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 front. It, it's it's a different ball game. And so you've got to attract people in different ways. And he gave the story of uh, how uh, it was a big pharmaceutical company approached him out of the blue. Uh, I think it was about his book, Marketing Rebellion, maybe? Yes, it was, uh, yes. And they'd read the book and they um, they said, we need you to come in and help us come to terms with this. And so, you know, if <laughs> he's done that because he's challenging, he's put challenging ideas out and... And, you know, if he was just a deep subject matter expert, that probably wouldn't have happened. But because he's challenging these companies and this head of marketing of a pharmaceutical company to think differently, they've called him up out of the blue. You know, as he said, he said, I don't do, uh, what was it, RFQs, uh, requests for, for quotes. Um, he, he, They just, people ring him and book him or email him and book him uh, because they already know him. They might not know him, know him personally, but they know him from his content and they've looked at his Instagram and they read his blog and listen to him on the podcast. They know who he is and what, what he is and he's known and trusted. He's a known quantity to them. And so that's what we. That's pretty much everything we talk about here, isn't it? You put mm. your content out there, but then you add your layer of personality and you relax a little bit to show a little bit of yourself because that might be the kicker of whether you get a gig or not. If you don't get the gig because someone doesn't like you, that's even better because you've... You know, you've um, you've squeezed the bullet. Out of the picture, yeah, self-collected. Uh, yeah, and uh, that I think that chat around uh, that book example was, uh, and the pharmaceutical example was, you know, you, I think you're asking how much is strategy, how much do you plan this out, and and he just talked that as an example of look, you can have a strat, of course you have a strategy, but a lot of these things happen just these opportunities come up out of nowhere you can't plan that sort of stuff you can't plan for the pharmaceutical company so that you can't plan for that work. revenue yeah mm. um but you create the opportunity by your consistency and and create building your authority over time and having of course great content and ideas in your you know, great ideas in your content um but people getting to know he's over the journey he's he's shown people what he's like he's built trust they get to know the way he thinks um, and especially if you're brave enough to uh, show a bit more of yourself, put put more and more of your or, uh, your honest ideas out there, not um, well, should I, shouldn't I, but much more of your honesty, mm. that again engenders trust. And sometimes you might alienate a few people with that, but the the true believers, who are the ones who will ultimately book you um, or call you for that for that gig, um, mm. will um, that it'll, it'll attract them even more to you. Yeah, and he did. He did allude to the fact that it took him a while to start showing a bit of behind the scenes of his mm. of his life and peel off a couple of layers because of you know he come came from a corporate environment. And how many people? How many people are listening out there that are, they're in the same boat, but they, you know, they don't. They're very cautious about actually showing anything about themselves. And and you know maybe that's fine if you're in corporate i don't think it would be but you know maybe it is but you go out and you're trying to build a proper personal brand and then build a personal you know based brand based enterprise around you you inc then you know you've got to use all the tools in your arsenal and you can't just do it once i mean these are these are habits and it's a mindset first then it's a habit it's a habit to show up consistently um you know some people will say Oh, I've got to do my content today. And others will say, oh, fantastic. I get to, um, you know, sustain my message by putting it out there. And I've got a, you know, I've got a mission and I need to serve my audience and they're going to be really excited about what I have to say. And and versus, oh, I've got to put some content out. I've got to put out a video this week because it's in my schedule. And, you know, well, I know which one I'm going to be interested in, the person who's fired up. <laughs> yeah, that's the, who sees the benefit, who enjoys doing it and, and is having fun with it rather than yeah. it's this chore that Trevor's making me do because of, yeah. because of our plan. Um, uh, you know, I like that, actually. I mean, I we, we've got a guest coming up uh in the next episode after this one, and um, it's with a, a litigation specialist called Alex Martin. So we're doing a, a pre-promotion on that one. And um, he, he, he's he been my client this year, and uh, we're going to dig into a lot of that. It'll be a really good a really good listen for anyone who's wanting to go down this path and uh, unleash the shackles a little bit, um, but also get out there and start doing stuff that they've 
thought about but never really done, uh, it'll be the one to listen to this year. It's a great case study. Just thought I'd get drop that plug in, mate. No, a great man, Alex. I've uh, I've have crossed paths. I really um, love his work. So I look forward to that one. Um, uh, you know, Mark talked about it. he sort of made that conscious decision to challenge himself to sh- to reveal more of himself. Yeah. Um, so it was not something that came natural like a joy song. You know, this he had to work at it, and he even made the point he still has to kind of reread his content. So okay, how can I inject a bit of personality into this? So it's not a just doesn't come naturally. Even after time, he still has to work at it. So yep. don't worry if it's not second nature that you just kind of just do it organically. Build it into your process of a, a proof it, and I just look for um, opportunities to um, to to share a bit more about myself. So I think that was important. He even talked about with his new book, and um, he even thinks why would anyone want to know more about learn you know, more about me because he revealed it's a bit more personal. Um, mm-hmm. So he's, he still has this, uh, you know, uh, challenge. Let's call it a, a challenge. And so um, it, it, it's something that even the best, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, feel. Um, so it just gives all of us heart that. Um, it does, you know, yeah. And and I think that, again, we've got recurring themes starting to come across the show. Now we're into 200 and coming, knocking on 250 episodes. Uh, but uh, you mentioned Joyce Ong. Uh, Joyce runs Tax Nuggets Academy. She's the co-founder of that. Uh, we had her on the show, episode 236, Liberated on LinkedIn, how Joyce Ong uses transparency and fun to cut through the noise. If you're interested in this um, type of letting go a little bit and showing personality and and unleashing the shackles a little bit uh, in your content and on social media and in your dealings. It has to be, you know, obviously all your touch points. Um, That's a really good um, episode to listen to. But um, uh, the the point here is that, as you you rightly so, Mark's been in the public eye for a long time. He's a big blogger. He speaks at big events. He's a lecturer. Uh, He's got, you know, a a stack of books. And um, I I just want to get back to the books in a tick. Uh, But all of those things... And yet he's still, you know, it's something that he's had to come to grasp um, to start grasping is peeling off a few layers of, um, you know, uh, of his personal life. And remember we've talked about here that there's three areas on social media. There's your professional, your personal and your private. And, you know, your professional life, obviously you get it out there. Your personal life is your professional life. They're intertwined. And you work out what's private and you then you'll know go zones of I'm not going to talk about this. I'm not going to show family. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever those guardrails are. And you work what you work what is private and you lock that away. And that gives you uh, freedom to then mix up your personal and your profession. And it doesn't have to be, here's my photo at the, the, this private event or what have you. It's, it's bringing stories um, that, you know, uh, that you can join dots with um, uh, of, of your core content or your core themes these within, you know, the, within these riverbanks. And so, and, and it's just much a much more interesting way to start a story to talk about something totally unrelated and, and immediately create interest within with the the reader um, of wow, where's this going? This guy's yeah. you know he's talking about Russian history. Where's this you know? Yeah. So um, where? <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, um, so uh, it, it's it's yeah, it's just just an, a, another way to inject interest to come at recurring themes in a different angle, bring something else to the table that. Um, a listener may um, uh, it may just give them a different way to, to access this yeah. kind of understanding. So, um, yeah. and it is just it makes it more interesting to write. If you're pumping out two articles a week, mm. uh, you, you know you want to maintain some interest. So to to yeah. be able to draw on different and just come up with the, what you're going to talk about, you find need your a voice. wide range. Find, find your voice. Your voice. But, but just and that's, fo- you only find it by doing. You only yeah. find it by doing, you know. You can't plot and plan, this is going to be my voice. I mean, you might have a feel, but until you start putting it out, I'll tell you now, if you start now and watch and you do it consistently, what you'll be like at the end of the year is totally and utterly different. I don't care whether you're doing videos, podcasts, uh, live streams like this, email newsletters, blogs, books, doesn't matter. So um, that's, I know that for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, there's a few things that I'll, I can equivocate on, but that's not one of them. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and the other thing is Mark's books. Uh, do check him out, uh, Mark Schaefer, S-C-H-A-E-F-E-R, one F. And um, 
follow him on Twitter and uh, and all the socials. But uh, his his blog is at Businesses Grow. That's his website. His blog's a ripper. Subscribe to it. Uh, he's consistently uh, pumping out two articles a a week. Uh, most of them are his, but he does have other other guest uh, writers. And um, it's it's good because that mixes it up and makes it interesting. And they're always uh, they're always an interesting read and and make the design to make you think, which is important if you're in marketing and business and leadership. I think any of those areas, well, leadership is kind of in business, uh, and marketing should be probably seen as leadership as well. So um, it's, I certainly recommend that. But he's he book marketing rebellion. If you want to learn more about you know where marketing's headed at a, at a at a bigger level, known is a really good book around personal branding. I recommend that. The content code, uh, content code is a really good one if, around content marketing. And he's got a new one. I just don't know what it's about. I think it's something about more branding. Uh, but he's got a new one that he's been talking about, and um, I think that'll be ready to come out in in coming months. So that'll be worth looking at. But if you are a writer and you want to put books out, the books are a great opportunity. To, and Jay Bear is another one we've talked about on the show. Jay Bear, B A E R, he's worth following as well. Um, the books are a great way to plot your evolution um, because you know the, a, a book is you know an artifact and it's in in, in circulation for a quite period of time. So you you do promote it and then um, then you do you create a lot of these uh, authors they create the keynote around uh, uh, keynote presentations around the book, the key themes of the book. And so you're going to live with this and, you know, it, it doesn't mean you're going to be stuck because you've got the next book to to go on to and to talk about. So that's for people who are going to go really advanced and, and write books and not just the one book, hey, I'm an authority, I've got one book and I've growth hacked it on <laughs> Amazon to be a, uh, a bestseller for for 39 seconds in some obscure category, but, oh, I can put bestseller on. But yeah. these, are, these are for, you know, bona fide authors who who certainly want to have a body of work over a period of time. Jeez, we've covered we've, a lot of turf, mate. No, and as we've talked about, yeah, the the those books give you the chance to really delve into the topic, the subject matter, really yeah. immerse yourself in it and come up with um, some, some powerful content that uh, has your own slant on it. So, you know, they're just a great exercise in and of themselves. And you've you've been a ghostwriter. How many mm -hmm. books have you ghostwritten? Uh, four. 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 So yep. you know the process pretty well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you probably have to draw it out of the out of. Depends that on the subject. It depends on the the person that you're writing on behalf of. Yep. Uh, but there's different ways, and I, I'm always of the belief of getting someone talking rather than um, necessarily yeah. writing their points down. So interview or get them to dictaphone ideas. That's because we want that conversational language. Yeah. Uh, it's a really fast way to 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 bring it into something that's very easy to read and. Uh, immediate and um, in, uh, you know, intimate. Indeed, indeed. Brendan, always a pleasure, my friend. Uh, you, we Trevor. shall catch up in a fortnight's time live. Uh, don't ask me to put the dates of the podcast in. But, I very uh, much look forward to the next the next session, session. Right? yes as i said this is a live on linkedin facebook and twitter uh it's going up on the podcast reputation revolution available wherever wherever you find your favorite uh podcasts whichever app you use it's there uh we're coming up to 250 episodes lots of gold over the journey uh dig in subscribe never miss an episode and um the next episode uh of this show will be with alex martin i really recommend that for anyone who's in a profession uh who's an expert uh who wants to and is not doing much now and then wants to get going and uh we lay it all out we lay it all out and alex um walks us through what what we, he and i have done or what he's done the work i've i've just sort of guided and supported along the way so that's a really good listen because i've recorded that yesterday and then brendan and i will be back the following week uh in the following episode to discuss that and we've got there's lots of fodder there as well so keep an, eye, an ear out or an eye out for that one look forward to it listeners cheers the reputation economy is here. The world today needs more genuine, credible experts and leaders to stand up and share their experience, their wisdom, their stories and ideas. Are you in? 